What's up, guys? This is Eli and friends. We're back with another movie review. I'm with my boy Chris. What's up? And we just saw the movie Birds of Prey. I don't know the rest of the title. It's like a twenty uh, title. And the Emancipation of One Harley Quinn, I think. Yeah. That. And it's about the emancipation of Harley Quinn. The emancipation of Harley Quinn, like how she um like survived without being like the Joker sidekick, basically. Yeah. I think the Birds of Prey, uh, it's their story too, even though Harley Quinn's the main focus, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, the Birds of Prey wasn't really like, actually like, a really big part of the movie at all. <laughs> it's a movie about a, a bunch of people wanting a diamond, and they gotta get the diamond. That's the story. And a little girl got it, but it's a really, it's really like gory and savage, and Harley Quinn is a bad eye. Wait, I can't cuss on her, can I? No, you already said it. So, <laughs> what you think about the movie? I thought it was actually pretty good. It was way funnier than I thought it would be. It was cast really good. And uh, like the the character interactions and stuff like that was uh, the funniest part, probably the best part of the movie. Yeah, I really liked the action in the movie as well because uh, they had the person that do the John Wick action in this movie, and the movie is brutal. Like, it deserves <laughs> rated hard movie. In it. <laughs> like, legs are getting broke, bro. They made Harley Quinn like she's uh, John Wick up in this movie. Like, whoo, this. Is it a movie for little kids to yeah, come in? Yeah, definitely not. They're like, oh, yeah, I already seen the other movies. I want to watch this. Oh. Oh. Yeah, the movie's bloody. They cuss a lot, too. So, it was hard. Don't don't see if you're a little kid unless your parents don't care. And if you if you have, like, a weak stomach, you don't want to see it because there's a lot of, like, blood and stuff, too. <laughs> it's more than I thought. Like, Jesus Christ. But the story was actually really good. Yeah, the story is uh, really good. They kept it uh, more simple. It was like a crime boss thing. They didn't want to go over complicated and stuff, so... It was a good plot to follow, and I like all the acting and everything, and I wish they would have just called it um, the Harley Quinn movie, because... That's she, basically what it was. Yeah, she wasn't really ever... She wasn't part of the Birds of Prey ever in the yeah, she wasn't. comics and stuff. And, like, they didn't... They still kind of underserved the Birds of Prey, but it didn't, like, underserve them to, like, a super degree. Like, they still gave them time to shine and everything. It's so, like, they earned their way to, the, like, to having their name in the title, but, like, just barely. Just I think barely. it would have been... If they had like their own standalone movie before this movie came out and then they like joined Harley Quinn, Harley Quinn that would have been better because then you would have like known the characters better and stuff. But yeah, it was still a pretty decent movie. Yeah, because I really wanted, I like a Huntress in there. I wish she would have had more screen time. Yeah. Like, but when she did have screen time, she uh, stole the show. I like yeah, that. Yeah, she too. was pretty funny. Yeah, I, I like uh, Black Queen. Canary. She was uh, good too. My favorite characters has to be Victor Zaz and Black Mask. Those, <laughs> <laughs> those characters in the movie are just funny for no reason. Like, once you watch it, you. And it kind of seems like they have like a little relationship going on too. Yeah, I'll watch a whole movie just with them because they're funny. Like if you want to go in and have a joke, every time they're on screen, you just like, <laughs> they're funny. So I really, I really recommend this movie. It's, I, don't go in here expecting like a bunch of Easter eggs from the other movies though, because this movie's pretty much more just its own thing. Yeah, it's just its own thing. It didn't really, I mean, they mentioned Batman one time in the movie and that's basically Yeah, it. they mentioned like Batman and Joker and stuff, but yeah. it's still like more of its own standalone thing and everything. But yeah, I really recommend Go see this. it. Go see it. I give it like an eight out of ten. And if you like Robert, uh, Robert, Mar Margaret, Mar Margot Robbie. <laughs> if you if like, you like Margot, Margot Robbie, Robbie, then it's a ten. And if you like Ian McGregor, Obi Wan Kenobi. <laughs> but yeah, peace, peace out. Till next time. Mm -hmm.